hello students in this today's video lecture of solid works we'll deal with part drawing and we'll work on what is rib option how to use rib option now the uh, symbol itself in indicates or the icon itself indicates that whenever you have two perpendicular faces you can add material in between okay for that i'll try to create two perpendicular faces initially i've selected front as my plane and i'll try to create one l section for your understanding better understanding fine irrespective of all the dimensions just i'll try to create one l section okay once the loop is done come out of it extrude and i would like to add material symmetrically now what i try to do is i'll add 50 mm to one side and i'll turn on the direction number 2 50 to the other side also then i'll say okay okay so centrally now if you turn on all the planes you could see the center plane here okay front plane is your center plane you made it center okay just because you have added material on both the sides in equal distance okay now to use rib option go to rib you can add material in between two existing features go to rib option now it is asking you which is a plane would you like to select or would you like to draw a profile so i'll select front plane keep it normal to the window and take a line or a spline or any other uh, open profile uh, to create this particular line okay or a profile now in case of rib no, no need to close the profile you can draw a single uh, line okay it could be a spline also no need to close the profile open loop is enough i'll just come out now once you come out it will ask you a few questions related that you could see to the left of your graphic window in the ribbon thickness here thickness is adding to the uh, profile you have drawn symmetrically i'll just turn off all the planes so that you'll understand better okay thickness is adding these two yellow lines are indication that thickness is adding symmetrically okay now i'll increase the thickness value by 30 mm so that you'll understand means 15 mm on either side of the uh, profile which you were which you have drawn and metal is adding to the bottom side by default if the arrow is upside it will not work out because you might see some error there okay now whether you want to add the material to the right or to the left or symmetrically that is up to you you can decide by these two factors okay here to the right to the left or centrally symmetrical all the possibilities i'm telling you okay or else if you want you can draft the model that is also possible once you done with your component you can practice them all once i'll say okay you could see that a rib option there okay and it is not compulsory that you need to start your line from the top edge to bottom edge you can fix it anywhere i'll just try to play with this particular line i'll try to keep it normal to the window now what i'll do is i'll set smart dimension from this edge to the point it is going to be uh something around it is 70 or something no i'll just change it what i try to do is i'll try to take one more line i'll start somewhere here with respect to i it got fixed that is the reason i'm not changing it okay i create a new line and i'll want to remove the old one just say okay this is how you get a rib okay same thing you could see here in the icon now you can fix this or you can define this dimension you can define this dimension also when you are at the sketch level okay this is all about uh, rib option if you have any queries you can comment in the box given below thank you for now